welcome. This is a video on Free File Sync, a nice program that allows you to back up uh, and synchronize files and folders from one uh, source to a target somewhere else, either external or USB or locally on a machine. Um, I'm, I'm in Windows 7 uh, Home Edition in a virtual machine. If you click on this link here, it'll take you to where you can download the program from. It's open source and it's cross-platform for Windows, Linux and Mac and it works quite good actually because it's uh, for the latest operating systems. Uh, if you can look at the website for more features and, um, and screenshots it'll tell you more but if you look at the features it, uh, it talks to you through all this <coughs> and you can see for Windows, sorry, mouse control, um, it's got all the latest operating systems, 32-bit and 64-bit, uh, up to Windows 10. Uh, I've installed it on Windows 8.1, Windows 7, so it's fine. And uh, Mac, you've got Yosemite, the latest, and Ubuntu, which I'll show you uh, the commands to install in Ubuntu, which is a Linux distribution. And also Mac, which it's already installed straightforward. On their website, it says you can either install it locally, which is what I'm going to do now, and uh, well, I've already done it, and you can do a portable install. Uh, so when you run the setup file uh, after downloading it from um, here, click on this link, download. Um, it gives you the option uh, to local install, which is recommended, or portable. So um, you click on this link here uh, from the download uh, button for Windows, local and portable. Uh, for Mac, 64-bit, this link, and Ubuntu Linux. For the latest release, 14.10, but I've got Win Win uh, Linux. Um, uh, version 12 and on another virtual machine 14.04 uh, and it works fine uh, but obviously um, more information on this website so once you've downloaded it it's a small <coughs> <coughs> excuse me uh, downloads uh, it's about 12 megabytes 12 megabytes so you run the install and as I say, I've already done it. You get these two icons, pretty straightforward. You accept the license agreement and leave the default settings and run through the process and it'll put these two icons. Uh, the green one is for uh, free file syncing. So you can compare files from one to the other and uh, it's got a very nice interface. You can drag and drop uh, the folder from the left to the target on the right or and then you can add more pairs basically you're creating pairs and if you do a minus <coughs> remove the pair <coughs> excuse me uh, you can compare from here the file time and size um, and you where your settings here for file time and size you can filter and synchronize the synchronized process is two-way which is uh, propagating both sides, deleting and moving and conflicting any detected automatically using a database. A mirror, to create a mirror backup of the left folder by adapting the right folder to match. And then update, so if you, um, like for, my, for me, for me uh, if I have a folder and files on one folder which I'm working on one machine, then I can update the target by using clicking on that so it'll sync everything new on the left to the target on the right and that's basically it so um, once you've added your files um, you just uh, you can select, set uh, the update process on this as well so the green and the comparison and the sync, sync settings are there the comparison settings are there and it's quite Powerful. It does quite a few other things, which I'm not going to go through now. But uh, then you just click the sync button, um, and it'll sync what whatever's on the left to the right. Uh, and you can do it on a USB from the local machine to 
a USB drive or a, <coughs> a network drive so you can browse for a folder say for example I can do a test uh, there's nothing in there select that folder and then on the target um, uh, in the downloads folder um, let's do that one say and if you click synchronize and then it says two bytes you get this process you click start and it's done uh, if you go back to the test folder and, um, and the, you've got the test file there which wasn't there before so it synced it and put the file into this folder it's very very good <coughs> once you get used to it it's, it's very good <coughs> So you can you can create lots of pairs from here, and then um, uh, if I close this one, you can automate the process by real time sync by using this, and you select the folders to watch, enter the command line and press start. Uh, there's a help uh, section which tells you what to how you can go about doing it, uh, the overview, and um, uh, you know the sync service on um, automat automatic and also it's got the help for the free file sync commands comparison settings um, batch job synchronizing with FTP etc and again in the uh, free file sync you've got the help one um, to with, with the two help files exactly the same so that's the Windows one, and I'm going to bring in view the uh, Ubuntu, which uh, asked me for my password. And again, you download the Ubuntu one uh, from there, but on the uh, review part, you'll see it says note, Linux users can download a PPA package archive. Uh, uh, click Launchpad, uh, Ubuntu version for Launchpad. When you click on that, you're taken to this page. So once you've downloaded this file in Ubuntu, uh, where are we? This one. Uh, you use this command for a local install. Okay, it's all on their website, and um, you open terminal by selecting terminal or type in terminal there and it's already there so click on that once you get that command you then enter these commands type in sudo space add well after you've downloaded free file sync from there you run this command to install okay uh, exactly as it's shown here once you've and uh, enter this path this this command press enter the the prompt will ask you for your username and password or the admin username and password type that in then type this command and press enter let it go through the process until you get the other prompt command then type in the this command to install right and then press enter and that's it the free file can now be started so once this is done and it tells you about the portable version which I haven't done uh, but local installation is like that so this is for Ubuntu once you've done that and let it finish till you get the dollar and command uh, sign and it's finished you can then close that terminal window okay and <clears throat> after you've closed the terminal window after running the local install if you type in free file thing you'll get the icon and you can drag this onto your dock here and because it's uh, installed the free file thing it'll also install the real time sync and you can drag that into ubuntu at the bottom and uh, let's close this one and close that one 
and then <clears throat> when you run it it's exactly the same as in Windows so you compare same process very nice green, green interface you can drag folders in here and drop them you can add add and create pairs uh, exactly the same you know you got the same comparison seems to work fine although it says you know two-way mirror update uh, it only says it's version 14.10 obviously it'll work better than that one uh, so yeah uh, and uh, for the Mac machine which I've already got uh, um, on, on this machine you can see on the Mac you've got the two icons in the launch uh, launch uh, pad as well and you can click uh, once you've downloaded it it unzips the uh, that once you download it, it in Mac Yosemite it uh, <coughs> it uh, it downloads it into uh, uh, unzips it like that with the two readme files but if you got click on launch pad it, it'll appear there and you just run it Yeah, there it goes. So this is in Mac, exactly the same. I uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, um, and uh, bye for now.